So yeah, we're back for Bloodborne. I, I don't miss this game. Okay. I, 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 I thought we would be done with Bloodborne. This site's favorite game of all time. You guys always talk about how it's such a high regard. You know, basically, you know. But yep, made the week for Bloodborne 2. Bloodborne 2 was briefly announced as a sim player. Say a player was moved at the last. Yeah, it was, it was so, Bloodborne 2 was so real that they removed it from the state of play at the last moment. He was in contact out from the state of play along with a type of place where the sequel takes place. Sounds of a of him a similar to city and gradually moves over to Eastern Inspired City. And we have characters as well. Well, it's the same character here, the same weird character. But yeah, this is probably not real. You guys are going, this is most likely just fan art, most likely for Bloodborne. I wouldn't be surprised if this is the case, because there's no real interest in making a Bloodborne 2. Bloodborne was, maybe, I think besides Demon Souls for the PS3, was from Software's worst selling game, because it was exclusive to the PlayStation. It sold worse than all three of the Dark Souls games. It sold worse than Sekiro. It sold worse than Elden Ring, obviously. I think if I think if they're really doing, they're gonna make a sequel to Elden Ring. I wouldn't be too surprised. But Bloodborne is probably not getting a sequel, considering it's one of the worst selling games. And even then, Demon Souls, including the PS5 version, I think outsold Bloodborne as well, which means Bloodborne is the worst selling game of the series of from Softwell's games. Goodbye.